Reverend Rob Shank here with camera in hand. You're going to see my amateur videography tonight. I'm going to give you a Christmas tour of our ministry center here on Capitol Hill, right across the street from the Supreme Court, a block from the Capitol, 10 minutes from the White House. And of course, the first thing you see when you approach our ministry center is this beautiful nativity in our front garden created for us by local artist Amy Hinman, who transformed our garden into the scene, the manger at Bethlehem there with the star hanging above the Holy Family, of course the three wise men and the shepherd boy, and of course Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus, visible to everyone as they approach our house here on the hill. And I'm gonna take you inside so you can see all of our Christmas decorations starts with this gorgeous wreath and all of these were done by our good friend Melissa Newsom who with her husband Wayne have been longtime friends, allies, supporters of Faith and Action and everything that we do here on Capitol Hill and she made sure that the house is very festive when you walk in here right down to every little detail a Christmas candle and wreath here on the table in the vestibule area and before we go upstairs this by the way is a 19th century Victorian row house so everything's very small scale and narrow but as you walk upstairs you see these doors festooned with Christmas cards from friends and supporters all over the country maybe your card is on our door here on display and Lots of cards all around. No time to show all of them to you, so I'll take you upstairs to the main floor of the Ministry Center. And the first room that you encounter is the Wayne and Melissa Newsom Library, named for our friends. And here she set up the angels with the Christmas cross and wreaths, greets you on the table. We use this table for meetings, sometimes even for meals with guests. and. Uh, this, of course, was once the dining room so many years ago, but is now our library. And there is the portrait of the Honorable William J. Ostrowski, for whom the house is named. It's actually the Honorable William J. Ostrowski House on Capitol Hill. Uh, it's traditional to name houses here on Capitol Hill in Washington. And we named this house for our dear friend, Bill Ostrowski, retired New York State Supreme Court judge who has helped us so much. And while he's too infirm to come here anymore and visit the house, uh, he remains here with us by way of this gorgeous portrait uh, that was painted as a gift to Faith and Action uh, by the wife of a federal judge, Lindy Brugink, who is a celebrated portrait artist here in Washington, has done a number of famous portraits, and she did this portrait of Judge Ostrowski for us. And uh, so it's almost like the judge is with us right here, looking over those angels on the table. And we pray for him constantly, and he and his wife, Mary, and their lovely family, and we thank God for them. Now let me take you into the parlor of the house. This is, of course, the parlor or living area. We use it for a lot of meetings, uh, Bible studies, discussion groups, and lots of prayer services and one-on-one -on -one meetings. And you can see what Melissa has done here with these Victorian motif dual Christmas trees that frame the fireplace and mantle. You see the fireplace there and above it, an original painting by artist Linda Parker called One Nation Under God. It's the Capitol. It's an original done for this house. And it's just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see to the left of the Capitol Dome, the descending dove, the image of the descending dove. She did not intend to paint that. She painted the sky as it was on that particular day. And only later did we see that uh, sort of image of a descending dove with its tail feathers in the upper left corner and of course the body pointing down towards the capital and uh, well we don't say it's anything magical just uh, a little extra blessing there and on the fireplace mantle uh, is of course an angel and uh, we love angels here in fact a lot of you have been God's angels to us so 
Here's a gorgeous angel celebrating Christmas. Of course, it was the angels that announced uh, that the birth of the Messiah at Bethlehem. And uh, here another nativity scene, a very special one for me, because this nativity scene was hand carved, I think, out of mahogany by persecuted Christians in Sudan, one of the most difficult countries in the world for Christians to live in. And they gave this to me as a gift. When I visited there, I was in the capital city of Khartoum, and they gave me this gorgeous hand-carved nativity set, of course, with the baby Jesus on a mat and the very simple figurines hand-fashioned uh, of Mary and, of course, Joseph with his staff there uh, on the fireplace mantel. And then around the room, we still have more. Of course, it's not just Christmas, it's Hanukkah. So we have our electric Hanukkah menorah or the traditional candelabra in the window. Tonight is the seventh night of the eight-day Feast of the Dedication. So seven uh, lights are aglow in the front window of the Ministry Center. I actually lit the real menorah tonight, and that will be up on our YouTube Faith in Action page, so take a look for that. But this is the one, of course, it's a lot safer for electric lights to be lit uh, during the night hours when no one is here. So we use that, and of course it's very, it's brilliant, so you can see it outside the window. And by the way, I'll show you out this window, if, if I can do this, I don't know if at night, uh, no, I suppose we can't see it, but just across the street is the Supreme Court, and then just catty corner out of this window would be the U.S. Senate Hart Building, where many of our senators have their offices. And uh, if we keep uh, going around, we're going to see that there are a few more things here on this table, a beautiful porcelain nativity, again, Mary, Joseph, and the Christ child, and then looking over them, a gorgeous angel there, and you see me in the mirror, and I guess that'll be my only opportunity to really say to you personally, because I've got the camera in hand, so let's see what I can do here with it and see if, let me just see if I can turn off that light. And there we go. And I'll just say to you from behind the camera, a very, very Merry Christ Mass and a blessed New Year to all you, uh, to all of yours, I should say, to you and to all of yours. Happy Hanukkah. Blessed and Merry Christmas, and have a very happy New Year.